Howdy, welcome back to Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we infiltrated Team Maqua's lair in uh, Mount Chimney, uh, awakened Groudon with the wrong orb, and fought Maxi. In this episode, we're going to infiltrate Team... Team... Ma... Team... O Ogma? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what, what, what do you want with Team Magma? Ogma, sorry. Our boss isn't here. He's gone off to jack off a submarine. <laughs> Where did he go? Aha, do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? I want to know where Ma Archie goes to jack off a submarine. What, what, what do you want with Team Agma? That's gonna take, Agma? That's gonna take a while to get used to. <laughs> Magma is easy, because I just do that, like, instinctually somehow, but... Our boss isn't here. He's on his way to Slateport City. Why did he go? Why? <laughs> do you really think I'd tell you something that crucial? Okay, well... Just like they t told us yeah, about the Team Mag Team Maqua lair on Mount Chimney, they told us exactly of Archie's whereabouts. Inadvertently, you know, to be fair, but at least now we know to go to Slateport City. It's been a while since we went there, jeez. And uh, there's a shipyard up here. Oh yes, something is happening. What's going on here? Did the good captain come back with a big fish from the ocean floor? I see, I see. You've had a most invaluable experience. What's going on? Yes, indeed. We intend to move ahead with our exploration. That's wonderful, Captain Stern. Thank you for taking the time from your busy schedule to talk to us. We hope we can interview you again with news of more discoveries. Okay. <laughs> you just had a news interview, I guess, just like me. Maybe you'll be on TV. <laughs> be sure to keep an eye out for it. Ooh, that was my first time to be filmed for TV. That was nerve-wracking. Oh, Andrew, you're looking great. We made a huge discovery on our last seafloor exploration. We found an underwater cavern on Route 128. We think it's the habitat of a Pokemon that's said to have been long extinct. Captain Stern, I presume. We of Team Agma will assume control of your submarine. Your objections are meaningless. We expect your total cooperation. Foo foo foo. Just watch and learn what Team Ma A Agma has planned. To God damn it. What was that all about? It sounded like someone using a megaphone. Where did it come from? The roof. Probably. It's from the harbor. The submarine. They're trying to take it. Andrew, please come with me. Yeah, I'll be able to stop them. Don't worry. Oh, not you again. You are tenacious to track us here, that much I will give you. But now, no one can stop us. No one! Well, I mean... I don't understand the point of you ye yelling into a megaphone, like, We're about to steal your submarine, dude. You could have just stolen it and had been quiet and we never would have known. Or will you follow us back to our hideout in Lily Cove City? <laughs> That's not how you board a submarine, by the way. That's kind of... Why? Why would Team Aqua, sorry, Team Ag Agma steal my submarine Explorer 1? They can't be after the submarine Pokemon at the bottom of the sea. But even if I were to chase them, I don't stand a chance against them. Okay, so... We know exactly what this means. Gotta fly back to Lily Cove. We're doing a lot of flying these days. I wish that we could soar in, uh, in this game like you can in... In ORAS, that'd be kind of cool. Like if they if they did, uh, like if you're able to f soar on the back of your Pokemon, and like they did like Mode Seven graphics or something. I know Mode Seven is on the SNES, but you you know what I mean. Like something like that, you know. That'd be really cool. And we could see like the entire Hoenn region from a bird's eye point of view. Okay, now that those two grunts are gone, we have. Full access to Team Agma's um, secret base, and uh, aye, 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 suspicious character spotted. Just like Team um, Maqua's base, we're gonna have to fight a bunch of uh, Team uh, Agma grunts. I uh, don't know exactly how many there are. Um, I didn't exactly look up. <laughs> like a layout or anything of Team Agma's lair before I did this episode. But, you know, we did we did the entirety of Team Maqua's uh, uh, HQ or hideout 
uh, in one episode, so I think I'm going to do the same with Team Agma here. I took the loss for the team, but I did my job. Just kind of do all the trainers until we get, you know, get to the end of the hideout uh, on one episode. For consistency's sake, you know. I realized that the last episode was like half an hour long, and I, I don't really like having episodes being that long. I don't know, because I just feel like consistency is key, and most of my episodes are around 10 minutes. But, you know. You do you do one episode 30 minutes long, you might as well do, you know, Team team Agma 30 minutes long. Might as well battle this girl. Oh, keeping watch over the hideout bores me. I'll take you on. Um... The Team Agma hideout is not exactly the same as, uh, the Team... God, I can't even... The Team Maqua, it's... I, having to keep track of, like, both these stupid names, it's, like, starting to get... It's, it's starting to wear on me here. Um, it's not exactly the same. This is actually the only hideout in Ruby and Sapphire, considering, you know, both teams... Well, both teams are in Ruby and Sapphire, but, you know... Uh, you know, Team Aqua is like the main team in, in uh, Sapphire and, you know, uh, Magma and Rubies, uh, respectively. But, so you know, so in Ruby and Sapphire, the, the Team Maqua hideout that we did in the last episode doesn't even exist. So this is the only hideout in Ruby and Sapphire. It's just the same, uh, regardless of what game you're playing. But th it's basically like... Team Team Maqua's hideout was pretty simplistic. Like it was basically just going through a tunnel and like maybe hopping off a ledge, going down some stairs or whatever. This one, the team the team Agma hideout is a real pain in the ass. Um, it's basically like it's basically like the Saffron City gym, if you remember that, uh, with the the teleporting floor tiles that like take you to different rooms and you have to kind of memorize like where you've been. And, where you need to go next and like the 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 correct route for you know getting through it i can never be bothered i can't even be bothered to memorize a saffron city gym for you know how many times i've played kanto games i you know you think i'd remember it by now but nope i just can't be can't be bothered to remember that or you know the team team agma hideout here and same for, um, same for the Team Galactic hideout, although absolutely not relevant to us. It's, you know, pretty similar to, uh, this hideout and the Saffron City Gym. I can't remember any of them. It's just, as soon as the teleport, as soon as the teleportation tiles are introduced, it's like, <laughs> my mind just, like, is, it's way beyond my mental capacity, I guess. I guess the Silphco is kind of like that too. I guess, it, I guess it is like a little bit of a tradition to have like the... There's a submarine at the far end, but by now... KKKKK, KKK, dude. What the hell? Um, I guess it's kind of like a tradition to have the evil teams hide out, have like these stupid teleporting tiles. This is a real pain in the ass. Because you gotta remember like the specific sequence of... Yeah. Of course, I can never fucking remember it. Okay, well, which one do I take now? <laughs> this one, hopefully? Yay, we did it! We get four items. Oh, I guess... <laughs> I'm assuming two of them are going to be Voltorbs. That's kind of annoying. For Electros, wow. Advanced. Pokemon advanced. Okay, let's bring out... Lado. He still has Mud Slap, which is really inconvenient, but, you know, it's better than nothing. And, uh, we're not actually going to be able to get Earthquake on poor old Play-Doh here for a long time. Well, not too long. It, it was a long time since we got him, but, like, we're actually coming, we're coming up to the Earthquake TM pretty soon. Um, you know, relatively soon, so. I'm excited for that. Play-Doh's finally going to have his... His best move. And I don't know if we have the TM yet for Toxic. I'm gonna have to actually check out my bag eventually. Nugget. I think one of these... 
Yeah, the Master Ball. Awesome. So, in the Master Ball, if you're not- this one's the other electrode, I guess. If you're not aware, the Master Ball is a special- a very special kind of Pokeball that catches any Pokemon regardless of their catch rate or, you know, anything like that. Regardless of how much health they have, it catches any Pokemon without fail. So, I, I do have a Pokemon in mind that I'm gonna use it on. Um, it's not until the post game though, unfortunately, so... Don't even worry about it. I don't even know why I brought that up. But, I mean, other than other than that... Okay, because spoiler alert, the Pokemon I want to use it on is a roaming Pokemon, which... Um, you know, if you see my video where I tried to track down Entei and Raikou, um, I really, really despise roaming Pokemon with every fiber in my body. Um, so I'm, I'm planning on using it on that so I don't have to run around trying to find it, will its health down before I can flee and stuff like that. It's just annoying. Um, but I mean, other than that, if I had to give advice on where to use a Master Ball, I mean, you don't have to use it on the roaming legendary. You can if you want, but it's not necessary. I just I just don't see the appeal in really trying to track down the legendary and then whittle its health down and then try to catch it with a you know, with an ultra ball or something with its absurdly low catch rate and it flees every time you throw a damn ball. I guess you could use like mean look or something if you're really But then you'd have to like you'd have to like grind and train up a crowbat or something. It's just not worth it in my opinion. I'd rather just use the damn Master Ball. But I mean other than that, um, I typically try to save my Master Ball in each game for uh, shiny Pokemon that can self-destruct specifically <laughs> because um, you know, I do have a very sad story to tell. I don't know if I've told this story before, um, but my first ever shiny that I ever found in any Pokemon game was a shiny coughing in, or it might have been a wheezing, I don't even remember, but it was in the Pokemon Mansion in Fire Red. And I threw a ball at it, you know. I never encountered a shiny Pokemon. I didn't, you know, I didn't, my heart was racing. I wasn't thinking about the implications of what Pokemon specifically it was. Um, so I threw a ball at it, it broke out, and then used uh, self, either self-destruct or explosion, I don't even remember anymore, it was a long time ago. Um, but s since that tragic moment, I always save my Master Ball for shiny Pokemon that I know have the potential to self either self-destruct or teleport. Because, you know, there is that one video of the guy who finds a shiny Mew on uh, an Emerald, actually, I think, he finds a shiny Mew. And then I, I think he uses metronome and then teleport. That that's like the worst possible luck. But I mean, you gotta anticipate that kind of stuff. If, if I mean, fuck. If I found a shiny Mew, I would use a Master Ball on it. Why not? Well, I guess it does have like a lower catch rate than a regular Legendary, so might as well try your luck. But it just goes to show <laughs> you can never be too confident because it might just teleport the hell out of there. Oh. Totally unrelated note, um, but I remember either in the last episode or a few episodes ago, I was talking about some video. This is entirely random, and you know, I don't even know why I thought of this, but uh, I was talking about some kind of video where a guy was like, it is pretty sweet. Okay, well, I figured out what video that was, um, and it's actually not, I actually misquoted it because he's not saying pretty sweet, it's actually. <laughs> What I was thinking about was that video of the guy who's like, Today I got hugged by a girl. And he actually says like, She was pretty hot. <laughs> and that's what I was, that's what I was actually thinking about. Hey, <laughs> got here already, did you? We underestimated you. But this is it. I'm a cut above the grunts you've seen so far. I'm not stalling for time. I'm going to pulverize you. Okay. Uh... Whoa, man, you, Matt, you've got some some nice pecs. In there. It's pretty pretty hot, <laughs> if I do say so myself. I hope you're not my cousin, though. Okay, uh, let's. 
What do I have that's good against dark? I feel like I have something else. I think... Actually, no, now that I think about it, I think sand is really the only thing I have that's good against dark. Oh, I do... Do I still have Fury Cutter? I can't remember on Dark Nut. I might. That would be good against him. Yeah, I think... There's not really that much that's good against Dark, because... I think it is only Bug and Fighting, because, you know, of course Fairy doesn't exist yet. And even if it did, I, I don't have any Pokémon that... You know, are Fairy type. I don't know if anyone on my team can learn a fairy move come Gen 6, but maybe I'll have to look that- I'm sure- I'm sure Cheerio could maybe learn, like, uh, like, some kind of fairy- is Charm fairy move in Gen 6? I know there's- oh, maybe Baby Doll Eyes or something. I think that's what I'm thinking of. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's totally irrelevant. I don't even know why I'm discussing Gen 6 when clearly we're not we're not that advanced yet. We may be on the Game Boy Advance, but we're not advanced enough for a new type quite yet. Or Mega Evolutions. I guess if you want to be real technical about it, McPuff can Mega Evolve come Gen 6, but and it, it does have the fairy typing. I think it's Dragon Fairy. Really interesting typing. I think it's uh, the only Pokemon to have that type, if I'm not mistaken. While I was touring with you, our boss got through his preparations. No, shit, the submarine. Our boss has already gone on his way to some cave under the sea. If you're going to give chase, you'd better search the big, wide sea beyond Lily Cove. But will you find it then? Hehehe. <laughs> Thanks for the advice, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is with with these evil teams and and like revealing their entire plots via megaphone and then being like maybe you should try surfing out beyond lily cove and try going underwater and then maybe you'll find our submarine but i doubt you will ha 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 it's like why even why even say that just <laughs> just go and like leave me here or shoot me or something okay anyway i'm being too over analytical about a child's game in the next episode of pokemon emerald we are going to surf east of Lily Cove and see what awaits us on the wide open sea. Ah, see what I did? See what I did there? Oh my god. I'll see you then.